I want to show you some fun things that you can do with slip. If you have some extra slip left over from throwing or you made some slip for decorating um, and you want to try some other texture techniques, you can take a big glob of slip, put it on your work, and you can just have fun doing something that's called slip combing. So I'm going to smooth this out just a little bit. And then you can do, you can quite literally take a comb or you can take a fork and you can put textures into your slip. And because slip is just watered down clay, what you see is pretty much what you get. This texture will settle down a little bit, uh, but you're still going to have nice raised surfaces to look at. Um, practice or play around with different things that you can do with it. I'm just going over it lightly with a rib to smooth that out so I can show you some other things. So I've got this little um, cocktail fork, but that same thing combing through, sort of creating fun, fun shapes and things with that. Let's see if I can do this one more time before it gets too flat. I can take a paintbrush and just create texture in my clay. You can also go ahead and do the same thing uh, if you're working on a bigger surface. Do the same thing with your finger. Run your finger through it. We've all done it. It's plenty of fun. Um, but you can do that on a piece and add interest. I've got uh, this little cup here, and I took some paper, uh, just using it as a stencil to sort of frame in my slip. And I'm going to glop it on there and spread it about. I do want to be careful uh, because this is something functional. I don't want to get too much texture up close to the lip of the piece because that might, might not work so well with the function of it. But I'm just smoothing that out. And somebody gave me this tool once. I had no idea what it was for, but they had it. They didn't know what it was for. They didn't want it anymore. I inherited it. And I tell you, this is kind of cool. You can make one of these just with uh, a paper clip, fold it, fold it around. But if your slip is thick enough, my own, it kind of can help to create this little raised texture in there. All right, so I've got this paper on the sides. I'm going to remove that. I think usually I'd probably let this uh, slip stiffen up a little bit, but I kind of use that to create like guardrails so that my slip surface isn't all over the whole pot. It's just in this certain section, and then the rest of my pot is smooth, so I can add contrast and interest like that. Or I can go back and change that if I'm not a fan of it. So plenty of fun things that you can do uh, with extra slip that you have in your studio. Give it a shot.